3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to Local 3 News. I'm meteorologist Tim Kippen. And I'm Brianna McLean. Brianna, we got a little bit of an interesting couple of photos here because, let, let me give you the backstory. This is in Greenfield, Iowa, and this town was hit by a tornado back this past spring. Mm -hmm. Now, where the tornado path went through, before it hit the town, it picked up some seeds from the farmland and where the tornado damage is, the seeds dropped within the community of Greenfield, Iowa here. Wow. And now corn is growing where the damage is. Oh. This is just... It's unbelievable. Wow. I, I've never seen it. Have you? Where? No, never. But I mean, maybe flowers or something, but not corn. No, you wouldn't think corn. <laughs> but, but it is Iowa, I so mean, you never know. Yeah, but I mean, it's everywhere here. I mean, look wow. across the street. I mean, corn is growing in people's front yards here, and this is all across town. I mean, right wow. in the city here, and I just the soil was turned up by the tornado, mm, and yeah. I. I just can't believe how good this corn is doing here. I mean, look at this. Who needs a farm? Yeah, and <laughs> I just can't believe the corn is doing that great in town soil. You know, yeah. usually you would think out in the farm it would be doing excellent, but it's doing pretty good even in town as well. Wow. Just look at this here. So Full stocks, that's I, awesome. I guess they're they're going to have a lot of you know for by the time it's time to harvest the corn. I guess they're going to have some good eats out I there and so. some good barbecue. I do like to barbecue the corn. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got a barbecue. Yes, it yes. is so good. And my yes. dad likes to barbecue the corn as well. Mm -hmm. I like to barbecue my corn. But also, if I'm in a hurry, I like to boil it. So That'll do. Yes, that that'll will do in, in do. a pitch. But, yes. I mean, I mean, look at right by a, <laughs> a, a manhole. Yes. Yeah, I just, and then <laughs> it's kind of beautiful, though. I think I know, great. but unfortunately, there's still the tornado damage yeah. there. And just hoping for the best for the community of Greenfield, Iowa. Thank you, Wendy Lane, for letting me share share this to the 906 Weather Watchers page and let me let me show this right here in Marquette during WJMN Local 3 News and I hope everybody in the community is recovering well south and west of Des Moines, Iowa. Real quick on our 906 Weather Watchers before we go to Max 1 here, Sally Tapio Smith posted this oh, wow. photo here just a few minutes ago and you can see some clouds moving on through but definitely feels like summer out there mm -hmm. and there's some more summer photos here on Max 1 on our 906 Weather Watchers page. Christian Saley of Eben Junction, this was the morning here before the fog went away. Definitely some fog and sometimes this is kind of a precursor Brie <laughs> to what's coming and what was coming was the humidity oh, yeah. and you can definitely feel that humidity in the air. That humidity has gone way up this evening and then Mary Bollinger of Rock here. That is definitely a summer sunset there. Beautiful mm -hmm. flowers though they yes. are in Rock. Thank you Mary for sending that and if you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page on Facebook feel free to join. We'd love to show off your weather photos are in WJMN Local 3 News and also on UPMatters.com. So very warm and humid this weekend, especially during the daytime hours. Not much cooling off at night. And then we do have rain and thunderstorm chances. Some of those storms could be on the stronger side by the time we do get to Sunday and Monday. So there's your temperatures. And I'm going to focus on the nighttime lows with this temperature map. Early morning temperatures, upper 60s, lower 70s. And then tomorrow night, Brianna, not much drop in the temperatures. The air conditioners and the fans are definitely going to get a workout this weekend. As for our rain and thunderstorm chances, we could see some rain showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, later in the afternoon into tomorrow night, and then some rain showers and thunderstorms may pop up on Sunday, and then as we move you into Monday, a cold front approaches, and that's where we could see some decent strong storms on Monday along that cold front, behind that cold front, refreshing air, and I think by the time we get to Tuesday, we're going to be in need of a little bit of a cool down with some refreshing air and a lot less humidity here. But as for our temperatures here, you're going to notice here in the upper right hand corner of your screen, the extended forecast here definitely on the warmer side as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Some UP spots for Saturday may approach the 90 degree mark. And then as we get to Sunday and Monday, we are going to keep the warmer temperatures around. And then as we head into Tuesday and also for the daytime on Wednesday, cooler and cooling down, refreshing air. I can't wait to open up the windows by the time we get to Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday and air things out here and we will be drying things out for the middle of the week and it'll be refreshing but stay cool out there this weekend and watch for oh. some storms. Oh.